Hello once again, and let me introduce myself. My name is Agla. I am Project Development Coordinator at Teltonica Telematics. I am very pleased to introduce to you my colleague, Roberta Sarmonaitis, who is a product owner for CAN devices at Teltonica Telematics and will be responsible for answering your questions at the Q&A session. We are happy to present and explain about Teltonica Telematics' newest addition to the CAN devices portfolio, FMX150 series. As well, we will discuss about ongoing FMX150 series development and much more. I encourage you to actively engage and take a moment to ask your relevant questions in the Q&A tab below at the bottom of your screen. Thank you. Please be advised that the session is being recorded and the replay version will be available on our YouTube channel in a couple of days. So let's start. Here you can see the agenda and in today's session we will go through Canvas data available, FMX150 devices features, supported vehicles, supported parameters and values for your business. Additionally, we will also have a look at most popular use cases globally and FMX150 series development plan. As per usual, we will also have live Q&A session and webinar summary. The webinar will take around four to five minutes or a bit more. So please make yourself comfortable, turn off all of the distractions and enjoy the content. Let's start with the question, what is CAN bus data? It is a high integrity serial bus system for networking intelligent devices. In an automotive CAN bus system, ECUs can be engine control unit, airbags, audio system, and etc. A modern vehicle may have up to 70 ECUs and each of them may have information that needs to be shared with other parts of the network. The CAN bus system enables each ECU to communicate with all other ECUs without any complex dedicated wiring. These mentioned ECUs send data to Canvas, which allows us to read these parameters using Canvas data reading equipped devices. Parameters availability depends on particular vehicle, most common are fuel level, total mileage, vehicle speed, RPM, and etc. Most popular globally is fuel level reading. For the GPS devices, which don't have CAN bus data reading functionality, for the fuel level data reading, you can choose an alternative way, gathering information through additionally installed fuel level sensor, but it is approximately three times more expensive choice due to the additional equipment needed, additional installation costs and time. In addition, it is not all in one solution. So that means that installation requires more than few steps and in some ways of the cases vehicle fuel tank needs to be physically damaged. It is also less accurate due to the different tank shapes and usually difficult calibration process. And the most important, you don't get any other additional values such as collecting other CAN data available, which might open up saving costs possibility for your clients with no extra investments. For example, using other parameters such as total mileage used for maintenance time and calculations. Overall, having all-in-one solution is much more efficient than commitment to maintain two types of equipment installed. Let's move on to the main star of the webinar, FMX150 series devices. They are versatile devices that combine GNSS positioning, GSM connectivity, and Bluetooth functionality. This combination allows for precise location tracking, seamless communication and wireless connectivity, making it ideal for a wide range of applications. The device offers a comprehensive portfolio of communication options, including support for 2G, CAT1 and CAT1 networks. This ensures compatibility with various cellular networks worldwide, providing reliable and efficient connectivity, regardless of the region or network infrastructure. With an integrated CAN chip, the device enables seamless integration with the vehicle's onboard diagnostic system. The device has an extensive list of supported vehicles surpassing more than 1,600 models, both internal combustion engines, aka ICE, and EVs. This wide compatibility ensures that the device can be easily installed and utilized across a broad range of vehicle makes and models, including cars, trucks, vans, buses, and more. The device supports over 40 parameters specific to light vehicles. These parameters cover various aspects of vehicle performance, including speed, mileage, coolant temperature, and much more. 
This broad data collection enables detailed analysis and insights into light vehicle operation, facilitating effective maintenance and scheduling and performance optimization. In addition, here you can see our extensive portfolio of CAN devices and adapters, offering reliable performance and exceptional customer support. We are confident that we can help you to achieve seamless integration, efficient communication, and optimal performance with your CAN networks. Let's dig deeper into FMX supported vehicles available on our list. As mentioned before, out of more than 1,600 in total, we support 1,550 internal combustion engine or ICE vehicles. In addition to ICE vehicles, the device also offers support for over 80 electric vehicle models. This feature specifically caters to the growing market of electric vehicles, allowing for accurate tracking of battery levels, charging status, and other EV-specific parameters, facilitating efficient fleet management and optimized charging strategies. What's more, we offer possibility to reverse engineer any vehicle of your choice. Reverse engineering can provide valuable information about vehicle structure, components, and systems. Engineers can examine every aspect of the vehicle, from the engine and transmission to the electrical and control systems. This knowledge helps them understand how different parts interact and allows for accurate replication or modification. Now let's talk more about FMX150 supported CAN parameters available. At the moment, in total, we support more than 40 available parameters, depending on the make and model of the vehicle. Some of the most commonly available CAN parameters we support include fuel level, vehicle speed, RPM, and door status. Recently, we have added 15 new parameters for ICE in electric vehicles, such as HV battery consumed, total mileage, fuel consumed, vehicles range, and so on. It is also important to mention that we highly recommend to update the FMX 150 firmware to the newest one to experience all of the advantages. Now, let's dive into widely employed features within our CAN data reading portfolio. Through the extensive research, we have identified several vital parameters that businesses worldwide highly prioritize, including fuel level, odometer, fuel consumed, engine RPM, and vehicle speed. By gaining access to these parameters, you can greatly increase the value of your business proposals and overall portfolio for your clients. This valuable, valuable information not only enables you to reduce costs for your clients, but also enhances fleet performance, efficiency, and seat. Furthermore, integrating these features into your standard GPS device usage push your services to the new heights, allowing you to deliver an unmatched level of excellence. Further, we will discuss most common use cases utilizing FMX 150 CAN trackers. The first use case, predictive maintenance. Efficient delivery is vital for prof profitable business. Route optimization cuts fuel expenses up to 30%, while monitoring drivers ensures high standards and aids complaint investigation. The FMX 150 solution is an exceptional choice for corporate fleet management and advanced fleet management applications. Keeping track of maintenance schedules becomes effortless as reminders can be set based on total mileage, oil levels, or other relevant parameters. Owners receive notifications about unexpected faults and problems, enabling swift resolution. CAN trackers provide valuable data for fleet management, including fuel level, RPM, throttle position, and engine load or more. Of course, 2G fallback is essential for the areas with inconsistent networks. The second use case, vehicle rental and leasing industries. The FMX 150 models are highly beneficial in the car hire and leasing market segment. For leasing purposes, GPS vehicle trackers enhance driver safety, provide maintenance reminders, and ensure compliance with vehicle regulations and maintenance obligations. Likewise, in the case of car hire, the FMX 150 helps prevent vehicle overuse and late returns. Fleet owners and managers can set vehicle mileage limits, alerting customers of excessive usage and promoting timely returns of hired cars. 
With the inclusion of CAT1 and CAT1 connectivity, GPS tracking with support for all CAN parameters and function is now possible worldwide. This means that the same device can be used across different continents without concerns about varying network support. And the third and final use case, fleet cost optimization. Fleet cost optimization is a crucial aspect of effective fleet management. By using telematics technology, businesses can implement various strategies to optimize costs and enhance operational efficiency. Our system collects precise fuel consumption data through Canvas analysis, allowing us to identify instances of the fuel theft effectively. By addressing fuel theft, FMX150 help you optimize fuel usage, reducing costs and increasing overall efficiency. We prioritize the well-being of your fleet by implementing continuous monitoring of vehicle health. Regular maintenance checks and real-time diagnostics ensure that your vehicle are in optimal condition, leading a longer lifespan and minimizing unexpected breakdowns. Now we will present further enhancement and development plan of FMX 150 in the terms of fuel level reading for bigger amount of vehicles, OEM file upload via PhotoWeb and TCT, auto scan functionality, and expansion of supported vehicle list. So now let's move further. When it comes to fuel level reading, it's worth mentioning that out of these more than 1,000 light vehicles, 750 support fuel level, which is around 75%. However, our dedication to enhancing this aspect of FMX 150 device is determined. Fuel level reading not only holds the highest priority in our research and development efforts, but also is an ongoing daily focus for us. In fact, we have set a milestone for us by the end of this quarter. We aim to add an additional 100 vehicles to our list of supported vehicles. This commitment reflects our obligation to continuously expanding our compatibility and ensuring that our clients have the access to the most comprehensive fuel level reading capabilities available. If your specific vehicle are not yet included in the fuel level supporting list, don't worry, we have alternatives to offer. One option is the joint CAN and OBD reverse engineering method, which enables us to send re requests to the CAN line and retrieve fuel level information. By obtaining this data, we can add your vehicles to the fuel level supporting list, ensuring compatibility and accurate fuel level readings. This might sound familiar to the additional sensor we mentioned in the beginning of this webinar, although no additional equipment other than FMX 150 is required. This method allows you to measure fuel level from the built-in fuel level sensor in the vehicle. However, this measurement makes reverse engineering more complex and should be used only when the other methods do not work. Now let's continue with the OEM file upload via PhotoWeb and TCT. If you're not familiar, OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. The CAN OEM file serves as an instructions for a device to read parameters from the CAN bus. It's like a dictionary that helps the device to understand the vehicle's language. Currently, we can upload the CAN OEM file to FMX 150 via PhotoWeb. We have also started developing another alternative OEM file upload via TCT. We are actively developing this feature and plan to complete it by the end of 2023. Meanwhile, the process for you and your clients is straightforward. You just need to upload the specific vehicle OEM file through PhotoWeb platform. Once completed, you can enjoy the system's full functionality. Rest assured, we are working hard to streamline the process and provide even more seamless experience for you in the near future. Here you can see the quick video of how the OVM file is uploaded via PhotoWeb. I want to emphasize that you don't need to use the program number. You only need to choose a specific car model and making year. In addition, it's important to control what devices are accessible for each of your users. May it be your distributor or your engineer that should see only the devices deployed by his team. In order to solve this requirement, PhotoWeb allows to create subcompanies with their own resources. In other words, own users, device groups, files, and etc., and move devices into these companies effortlessly. Let's move to AutoScan 
an exciting feature we will offer soon. Autoscan provides automatic vehicle recognition, making device configuration a breeze. With this functionality, the device can identify the type of the car without requiring any additional steps in the configuration process. This streamlines the setup process for our clients, saving time and effort. As previously mentioned, while we continue to develop Autoscan, we currently have a manual solution in place where you can choose the vehicle type via PhotoWeb. However, our goal is to finalize the development of Autoscan by October this year, and once completed, this feature will further enhance the user experience by eliminating the need for manual selection and ensuring a seamless and efficient configuration process for you. Lastly, we are continuously expanding our supported vehicle list. Over the past six months, we have added an impressive 226 vehicles to our compatibility list. This ensures our clients have a wide range of options for fleet management. To meet your demands, we have introduced vehicles wishlist within our team. This allows you to communicate specific vehicle models to your account manager, helping us prioritize developing roadmap. We have also established reverse engineering capabilities in six offices with dedicated teams specializing in ensuring compatibility and support for a wider range of models. Furthermore, you can collaborate with our headquarters engineering team. Our goal for this year is to add at least 300 vehicles to our supported list. Your collaboration with Altonica can help us achieve this and much more. So please do not hesitate to contact your account manager or our CAN team. So to recap, this webinar has given you an overview of the CAN parameters available, FMX 150 key features and benefits, supported vehicles and parameters, as well as we discussed about most popular parameters globally that bring value for your business, presented FMX 150 development plan, as well as we, will, we went through most popular use cases. In addition, you got your answers to the questions at the Q&A session. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our session. I hope you enjoyed and found this webinar relevant and helpful for your business. On behalf of Teltonica Telematics team, thank you very much for joining us today. Meanwhile, you take care of your business, stay safe, and goodbye for now.